Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on rounding off decimals. Sometimes it is convenient to round off a decimal to a certain number of decimal places. To round off a decimal to a given number of decimal places, do the following. Go to the next decimal place and round up if that digit is 5 or above. Number 2 round down if that digit is less than 5. So let's see how these work. Let's look at some examples. Number 1. Round off each of the following to two decimal places. So the first one is 0 0.758. Now we want to round off to two decimal places. That means we have to have two digits after the decimal point. The rule says go to the next decimal place. So we go to the 8, because that's the next one, and it says round up if that digit is 5 or above. So because it is 8, we increase the 5 by 1. So since 8 is above 5, we round up. So the answer is 0 0.76. All you do, you increase the 5 by 1, so you take it from 5 to 6, and that's why that's the answer. Number 2, 0 0.974. We are rounding off to two decimal places, to there. We go to the next decimal place, and this here is less than 5, so we keep those two digits the same. So since the 4 is less than 5, we round down. Rounding down means you just keep that the same. You do not increase the 7. So the answer is 0 0.97. We have 5.369. So again, we're doing, if you remember, to two decimal places. So we're looking at those two digits that 9 is above 5 so we round up that 6 becomes a 7 so it's 5.37 number 4 we're rounding off to two decimal places which is there since the 2 is less than 5 we round down which means we keep the 0 and the 3 the same so that's the answer now let's look at a few where we round each of the following to three decimal places. So for the first one, we definitely have to have three digits after the decimal point. This 7 is above 5, so we round up. Now this is an interesting one. Because that's a 9, okay, the only way we can round up is if we make this 3, 9 a 4, 0. Okay, because we have to add 1 to this. And if you add 1 to 39 or to 39, you get 4.0. In other words, the answer is 5.640. So we round it up from 39 to 4.0. Over here, we have 1.0008. So we look at the first three. Of course, we have to have three digits after the decimal point because we're rounding off to three decimal prices. That's an 8. It's above 5, so we increase this by 1. So it's actually 1.001. .001. So you still have three digits, but that 0 has been increased by 1. 5.0806. Since the 6 is above 5, so remember again, we're going to three decimal places. That 6 is above 5, make that a 1. So the answer is 5.081. And finally, we need three decimal places here. Here they are. That's a 0, so we keep that the same. So since the 0 is less than 5, we round down, and that's the answer. So this video has looked at a very simple process where we have seen how to round off decimals to a certain number of decimal places. And we also go all, always go to the next number, and we've been given the rule what to do, depending on whether that number is 
five or above or less than five. It's really that straightforward. You just have to remember that rule.